Okay, it's new to me. Yeah. Jasper, the neighborhood ghost. A mister walk you down. Casper, the neighborhood ghost, Mr. Walking Down. What's the problem, Casper? You're not being so neatly. Casper, the neighborhood ghost, Mr. Walking Down. Okay, what's going on? Why are you doing this to, why are they even picking on Roni so much, man? What the fuck? Is it, is this, is this WWE? Like niggas really, do really, the niggas really have beef? Like the man's on parole right now and he's like, I feel like dealing with some like way bigger issues than let me use my um, my my, pl my public platform to pull up old school pictures of Roni. I'm gonna pull up another one on my screen here so I can read what's going on. What's going on? With Casper, neighborhood ghost, Mixy Mixy Casper. Let's find Casper here. It's the walking down. Walking down. Someone explain why this guy is making songs talking about me. How could I have a problem with someone who was wearing suspenders in high school? Whoa. Who would have thought that a couple years after this picture was taken, he would have been convicted for SA on a minor? Damn. Why do they keep on trying to put that in this guy's fucking um, um, pot? You know what I'm saying? That is crazy. Holy. I feel like... They try to make Roni an easy target. However, if he had, let me see what Roni said. Mix up Rick. Let's see what Roni is saying on his side of town, on his Instagram page. Because this is seems like it's like a retaliation. This doesn't seem like Casper just woke up and like, chose this. I'm not gonna say violence because I'm not gonna use the B word. I want everybody to be okay. Let's see, what has Roni got here? How long ago is this from? I couldn't tell when I was in hell, right in the hood and it have a mill. Who would have known but pick up the phone and say Hold on. Hold on, let me put it up on my screen here so I can see. Did he tag Roni? I'm looking at you guys are looking at one screen, I'm looking at another here. With a little, one a little bit closer to my old ass vision. Let's see what Rody's saying in the caption. <laughs> I thought a suck pum pum boy who ratted on his bro and got robbed by the gang said something. Oh my gosh. Why? I don't understand. You know, the city never has a dull moment when you really think about it. I need a check for hundred or more. I made a pet and opened the door. Bro got a hammer, call him door. Right in the slammer, they shut the door. What is that? What if a Toronto rapper doesn't have a lot of money on him that day? Can you not do a live? What if it's a day that's just a little bit low? Okay, and I know this is side topic, no sidetrack, no sidetrack, okay? What if shit's a little bit low that day? 
can you like say, you know what? Uh, I'm not trying to get on the ground today and flex nothing on you niggas. Like you, shit is a little bit low, but you got beef. You can't do like, let me lay some money on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas, you can't even put y'all niggas dead. Just y'all, y'all. I'm gonna get back to you next week when I when I go do a couple of shows. But fuck you anyway. Because you guys said man are bored. Are they? I feel like man's gonna have busy lives, fam. Mean to you, we could have been the crew. We slide on the block, drop them sneaky moves. Let's go get you shot. No call is cut. Beat that blocky jumping hop. Niggas be in the studio, like making tunes and shit like that. Staying hella busy trying to diss each other. It's like a full time job. He run on orthodox. A body drop, he run and hop, he run on orthodox. Huh? You don't look bored. Look up. I wouldn't be bored making all that money. Jesus Christ. Can, Roni, can I hold something, fam? Like $5, bro? Like, beg you a backwood, fam. A piece of grabber. Jesus Christ. Yeah. We could have been superstars. Oh, he's got a superstar remix. Remember when we stole a car? What does that mean to you? And he got new fucking chain. Come the fuck on, bro. There should be a new rule that when rappers get new chains, they give their favorite media personalities their old chains. See, Gutsy interview. Gutsy said, "Fucking Roni interview loading. It's on private. It's already up though." <laughs> no, I never heard that. Um, Main Street Jen. So here we are. So, okay, I don't know. How are we supposed to examine this? Did Roni diss Casper first, or did Casper diss Roni? From like, was it the chicken or the egg? Like, like or the, you know, I'm not saying anybody's the egg or the chicken. Okay, guys, just relax, relax. None of you guys are taking any of the roles of the chicken or egg. I'm just saying it's just an analogy. But like, do niggas just decide, okay, you know what? Tag, you're it. You know what I'm saying? You get in the booth, fuck this guy. Remember that shit from back in the days? I'm bringing up old shit, fuck you. I still got beef with you. I still don't like you. And then now, rapper here such said beef or said, said rap, right? You know, whether it's like now, cause you know, you got Instagram now, right? So you could like post like a snippet of it. I said, right? And now you heard it and you run to the studio. The track's not even released yet. You just heard the snippet on Instagram. Motherfucker's in his car. He's running the tune. Ha 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 ha. Pussy. Remember that shit from fucking 19 how long? Well, I got a new song for you. Wanna hear it? Here it go. <laughs> right? And now you got to reply. Because you're like, nigga, what? He said, what? I'm going to studio. And you're flexing cash? I'm going to fucking studio. Right? However, Casper's in a situation. He can't go to studio right now. Okay? Hold your head. So, you got Instagram now. You take the Instagram. You say, yo. You get on the phone, you say, yo, what about that picture that I got from back in the day? Can you, can you run that one up on my Instagram page? I got beef, I got rat beef right now and I can't hit the studio. However, I do got some shit. Cause you know, this is part of beef now, you know what I'm saying? You know, man's like 50, um, I would give Drake a little bit of credit also for this too of making memes and like Instagram posts part of the whole package. You know what I'm saying? Of what you're going to get when you're beefing with that nigga. I would say 50 is the originator of it because 
even before Instagram, he was like doing his thing on um this is 50.com and you know, he had the pimp and curly and all these different things. So it's like, I ain't only gonna go to the studio. I'm gonna clown you in every single way I can find. Fast forward, you got Drake and Meek Mill. Actually, no. I got an example in my head of when rappers took to some other kind of content form. This is pre-Instagram, okay? This is a test for y'all, the common gang, common gang scrum, all right? Pre-Instagram, what rapper used content as well as their song to diss another rapper? And how did they use the content? What kind of visual content did they use? Not a music video, okay? What kind of other type of mind trick did they play on the rapper? by pulling up some type of post, something that you can use before Instagram. I'm gonna give you all 20 seconds. Common Gang Strong. No, nothing yet. Okay, I'll say y'all the suspense. Don't be the next rapper on that Summer Jam screen. Y'all remember that, right? This is pre-social media. You know what I'm saying? Don't be the next rapper on that summer jam screen. You know what I'm saying? I heard you was a ballerina. I got the pictures. I seen you. R.I.P. Prodigy. When Jay posted the fucking picture of Prodigy on the summer jam screen, the world, as far as hip hop, went crazy they're like no way that's not prodigy whoa where did Jay even get this it was like a mystery how did they even find that picture and it wasn't like, you know, there was Instagram where Prodigy can get back on the ground and be like, yo, well, you know what? Fuck you. You know, get in this car, flex a stack. You know, nigga Jay tried to hit me up with that shit. think that shit did anything to kick around. Dun dun dun, I see you. It's on sight, dun dun. Right? Oh, you tough now, right? <laughs> like, imagine Prodigy had Instagram to be able to, like, really like give off his true feelings in real time when man like showed him like how did he would he even show he would have to show him a picture like fam i was at summer jam and look what i saw like there was no ig back then let me see if i can find this let me take roni off the screen because big salute to roni I feel like a bigger point has, has, has been made here. Uh, prodigy. And the man's were mad. Their retaliation was like, yo, JC, I'm going to kill you. JC, I'm going to kill you. Any chance I get, yo, you dead. JC, yo, you you a punk motherfucker. I want you dead. You know what I'm saying? RIP to Prodigy and no disrespect to him, but they were bent out of shape when that nigga fucking posted that shit, fam. Like, highly upset, fam. Like, look at this. That's what the man posted, fam.
Like, bro. These niggas is talking about shooting and stabbing niggas and shit like that in their raps, fam. Oh, you know what I wanted to do before I continue also? Mixed with the fucking original grabber, yo. I'm about to roll up another um, thing with some original grabber right now. I know we can't be talking about too much of this type of stuff on the on the Twitch, you know what I'm saying? I know Twitch be trying to keep it clean, but you know, man, I'm going to roll up my things. I'm going to roll up my things still. A nice fresh pack. Spread out. Available in stores. Sleep in this chip. You know what I'm saying? She got the pack over there too. I see you. I see you, Vicky. Um, but yeah. This has been going on for a while, fam. Where mans have been like, yo. Um, let's take to another medium to really like get into this guy's head. You know what I'm saying? Fuck just going to the studio and saying a bunch of shit about it. We're going to take it to the next, next level. Okay? Like I said, nobody did it better before Instagram than your man Curtis. Let's see what we can find here. Pimpin Curly. 50 Cent. 50. Curtis. I could pick anyone 13 years ago. This is going, this is going to be the part of the, 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 the thing that we get copyrighted. Hold on, give it a second. Thing about copyright 13 years ago, eh? Just for a that is just reckless. Holy shit. Like, they were, like, really... They basically made a music video out of Curtis Mayfield's Freddy's Dead with Pimp and Curly. The fuck, man? I know you. I'll kick your motherfucking ass, Earl. I know you want to be like your uncle, Pinky, but... The fuck already in here, motherfucker. All you do is sit in front of a motherfucking computer all day. Yeah, I'm in front of computers all the time. You know why? Because I'm smart. And you're jealous of me because I'm smart. <laughs> you ain't got no motherfucking common sense. Yeah, common sense says you need motherfucking money, guys. I want to tell you one thing, okay? Before you leave, I just want to tell you one thing. You're not tough. I know you. I'll kick your motherfucking ass, Earl. I know you want to be like your uncle Pinky, but... The fuck do you mean I won't be like Pink? Pink ain't got shit on me. My life's better than Nick, Who the fuck wears a pink blue tie these days? Who the fuck wears that shit you got on there? Don't you be telling nobody you my motherfucking brother, neither, nigga. I gotta go. This nigga said, my life's better than yours. Me and my brother ain't never got along, man, but I was on top of my motherfucking game, man. Just got me this new spread over at the trunk shit. Nigga, I came up. When I told him I came up, I mean, I came up, man. Felt like money was falling out the motherfucker. This guy had a whole running series after. This is sparked off of the beef that 50 Cent had with Rick Ross. It wasn't only enough for him to get at, at, at Ross on a tune. You know what I mean? He had Officer Ricky and a few other tunes. He had to take it to the fullest. Sorry, my bad. He had to take it to the fullest extent. And make all he created a whole character. Let me see if I can find something on the Rick Ross one. On Ross. I'm sure he made a fake Ross character that I just don't remember right now. This nigga like used hella fucking um, music from the Curtis Mayfield tune. That's just reckless spot. Sexy. One, two, three. You know in the south, we call him cool. That's like recklessly just using a piece from That's like what I'm trying um, to tell you. Is out there talking coming to America. Yeah, yeah. He said the motherfucker down this south. Old school curl. YouTube when you, we didn't even know any Can rules. Can you believe this shit? That's all I done for these motherfuckers. Yeah, officer motherfucker Ricky, nigga. When I catch you, I'm gonna cut you, nigga. Hey, I got to address some <laughs> shit right quick. Motherfucker Pippin Kid gonna say I no. motherfucking Pippin. 
Nigga, you don't know a pimp when you see a motherfucking pimp. Yo, what is wrong with this guy, man? So, like, to me, this is nothing new, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's funny. And I'm not not trying to laugh at Roni. Like, I, man, and them are getting at each other, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you even get the pictures to even pull up in the first place to be like, yo... What about this guy? Yo, what happened? Yo, this is the same guy that such and such. Like, fam, who do you know? Like, that means, like, man, them are taking up space in each other's head. Just know that, okay? When you got to go as far as to go find a picture, and no disrespect to Casper, okay? I'm just saying, this is just a thing that maybe man might want to watch out for. When you got to go as far as to be like, yo, let me find this picture so I can diss this motherfucker. Yo. You know, you might holler at one of his people. Yo. You got that picture? Send that, fam. I'm going to post that on the gram. That means men are just like, you're, they're renting too much space in each other's head, fam. It's, it's, just, it's not worth the fucking drama. Mind you, let me take this off the screen because I'm not helping. Um, I think that's all I got, man. Hey, yo, thanks for subscribing to We Love Hip Hop Clips. We're almost at 500 subscribers right now. And when we get to 500 subscribers, we're going to be giving away this baseball cap or trucker cap right here as well as a we love hip-hop windbreaker all right so make sure to subscribe subscribe and once we hit 500 subscribers your name will go into draw and you'll be able to win a prize now when we hit 1000 subscribers we're going to be giving away a hat a jacket and an exclusive piece of merchandise from one of our sponsors all right so keep hitting that subscribe button and make sure to hit the like button and make sure to share because it definitely helps us in our algorithms deuces